Hi, this is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine. I'm here with Chisholm Craig, and uh, Chisholm's with Monsanto. Can you give us your title and what you do? Yeah, I'm the Technology Development Manager for Corn Insect Traits. Uh, work specifically on Genuity Smart Stacks, Genuity BT Triple Pro, Genuity BT Double Pro, and also looking at refuge and bag options for our corn insect traits. So Chisholm, I wanted to talk to you today because uh, there's a lot of talk about refuge, refuge in the bag, things like that, and you've got Smart Stacks coming out, which uh, takes the refuge down a bit. You know, what, what do farmers need to think about as they go into the 2010 planting season with regard to refuge? Well, the first thing we want them to remember is, is there are differences among corn insect traits in terms of refuge. So the first thing is to understand the refuge requirements of a particular system. Uh, we would like to remind everyone that Genuity Smart Stacks is the first and only dual and triple mode of action uh, product for both above and below ground pests. It allows us to go from 20% uh, refuge in the corn belt down to 5% refuge for both corn borers and corn rootworms uh, and there is a difference when looking at uh, you know products from multiple companies including you know from Monsanto. Uh, so we want to make sure that there is no confusion in the marketplace that we do understand our requirements. Uh, we do have several websites that can help you with that uh, www.genuity.com you can go there we have an online calculator that will help you figure out not only your needs for Genuity Smart Stacks but also for other corn traits in the industry. We also uh, have a website, www.smartstacks.com, uh, and all of those options are available to you there as well. Okay, so uh, they're, they're going down to 5%, but they still have a refuge to maintain and take care of, right? Is that... Uh, Absolutely. For 2010 and probably for 2011, right? That's, that's correct. And uh, so right now, as it stands, uh, the refuge requirements for Genuity Smart Stacks uh, are 5% refuge that must be planted either within the crop, as in... Uh, strips within the row. Uh, those have to be at least four rows wide. However, we do remind people that once you are finished with your planting commitment, meaning you don't have to plant the four strips across the entire field, once your 5% uh, is realized, uh, then you can continue planting the rest of the field in Genuity Smart Stacks. Other options include a perimeter refuge, or you can have a strip refuge alongside of the field or adjacent to the field as long as that strip or block is not separated uh, by another field. Okay. One of the things I've heard from farmers is that I know that they, they like the thought of the convenience of a refuge in a bag, but a couple of farmers have mentioned to me that that 5%, they're just not sure they want to give up that 5% as far as uh, you know, they want to still have control of it. What would you say to them? So I think there are a couple of misconceptions here. First, I want to tell everybody that we've been looking at refuge in a bag uh, for more than 10 years, so we have a lot of experience with this concept. Uh, and we knew that we weren't able to make this a reality until we were able to get down to 5% for both above ground pests and below ground pests. And we knew that because we didn't want to sacrifice, sacrifice all the gains we'd made with our germplasm and traits just for convenience. And so we've been looking at smart stacks or genuity smart stacks with refuge in a bag for the last several years and feel confident that we're not going to automatically give up 5% of our yield just for the convenience you get of refuge in a bag. Now, again, we're continuing to look at this concept, and, uh, and we need to, to let everybody know that, that they should have confidence that we're not going to release a product or a system that's going to reduce yields and take a step backwards versus taking a step forward. All right. Thanks so much.